Hi and welcome to step 2 CK. Today I'm talking about RH isoimmunization. What is RH isoimmunization? It is destruction of the fetal red blood cells due to passing of immunoglobulin G antibodies against the fetal red blood cells which has RH positive antigen through the placenta. The mother is completely asymptomatic while the baby is suffering in there. The mother must be RH negative to be sensitized. The father must be RH positive to give rise to RH positive baby with an RH negative mother. The mother has to be exposed to RH positive blood early on in life to develop antibodies through blood transfusion, early pregnancy or any mixing of fetal and maternal blood. You have to remember that only immunoglobulin G antibodies can cross the placenta so the first baby cannot develop RH isoimmunization if the mother is not previously sensitized. Okay, since the mother is completely asymptomatic, we have to screen every woman for RH isoimmunization. Screening for RH isoimmunization requires an answer for each of the following four questions. The order does really matters. Is the mother RH negative? Does she have RH antibodies? Is the baby RH positive? Is he anemic? We can answer we can answer the first question by direct Combs test which is done for every woman in their first trimester. The second question is answered by indirect Combs test which does not only give a yes or no question, it also gives titers to the antibodies. We consider any mother is sensitized if she has titers of 1 over 16, 1 over 32 or more. The third question can be answered by blood typing of the father. If he is known to be a homozygous RH positive father, the baby must be RH positive and then he is considered to be at risk. If he is heterozygous RH positive, we can either have, we can either have RH positive or RH negative baby. Or, or if we cannot have an access to the father, then we can do chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis for fetal blood typing. If he is RH negative, the father, then the baby has to be RH negative and he is not at risk. So we have an RH negative mother with high titers of immunoglobulin G that can destroy the RH positive red blood cells of the baby. We must have an answer for the fourth question. Does the baby really suffering from anemia inside the uterus? We can answer to, to this question by middle cerebral artery Doppler. If the baby is anemic, he is having a hyperdynamic circulation and high blood velocity in the middle cerebral artery. More than 1.5 multiple of median is considered to be high. If so, we, we have to sample the fetal red blood cells through percutaneous umbilical blood sampling to get his hematocrit level. If, he, if, if it is less than 30%, then he has he have to be infused with packed red blood cells inside the uterus. An older method, other than middle cerebral artery Doppler, was done. It is amniocentesis to get the bilirubin level in the amniotic fluid on Lily graph. Zone 3 requires either delivery at the 34 weeks of gestation or pups percutaneous umbilical blood sample and hematocrit level and intrauterine blood transfusion if the hematocrit is less than 30%. Zone 2 requires follow up every 2 weeks. Zone 3, zone 1 requires follow up every 3 weeks. Remember to give Rogam to prevent sensitization in cases of abortion, labor, pregnancy bleeding, or routinely in the 28th week of gestation. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and share.